What's up, people? Kenneth here, streamhomeloan.com. I hope you're doing well, honey, as well. So, just wanted to make this uh, quick video for you guys. I'm always getting this question, and as the times change month over month, you know, the answer adjusts. But um, but a lot of times it, it kind of stays the same. So the, the common question for me is always, you know, is right now a good time to buy? Should I hold off? Should I buy now? What should I do? So if I, if I posted a video on this six months ago, um, it's a different climate in the market, rates are, are you know, rising very high, um, maybe my tone could be a little bit different, maybe not, you know, you, you'd have to go back and check. But my opinion is, is that, you know, that question regarding is it a good time to buy is, is always gonna be unique to the individual, right? But if you're, if you're talking from like a standpoint of the industry, I look at it similar to stocks. Right now, if you're listening to any stock advisors, they're telling you that everything is at a discount, right? Because of the fact that the market has con continually dropped for, I think, the, the last year. There's been, you know, ups and, and uh, little spikes in the market, but overall, we've been in a bear market, a declining market um, in the stock market. So the advice from most you know, stock advisors or people that, you know, are financial advisors or just those YouTube guru guys has been um, the common advice, which is dollar cost averaging and, you know, dollar cost averaging, meaning that buy a certain or spend a certain amount, set your kind of your budget, and then just be consistent with buying um, that amount of stocks and, you know, whatever stocks you're selecting. Um, but the, the overall perspective is that these these stocks currently are at a discount. We're in a market where things have tightened, um, the economy isn't doing good. There's been you know uh, you know such consistent talk of a recession that these stocks are at a discounted price. These stocks have dropped 30, 40, some 50 percent, some more over the last year. So when it comes to real estate, that's similar you know my 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 perspective would be that if you're looking at it from an investment standpoint then it's a similar perspective to stocks um you know i me and my wife bought this particular house last year literally almost about a year ago uh, a year and maybe a month ago um and right when we closed you know right after we closed we looked on redfin looked on zillow and the value was up from our purchase price we bought it through a uh through a trust sale so i think we got like a little bit of a deal because of you know just it was sitting on the market at the lot of Estro. um it was a trust so a lot of people were kind of hesitant on going into that uh, that type of transaction so i think we got it at a little bit of a, a better price but um, shortly after that, the value was much higher on Redfin and on Zillow. So, so I was like, okay, hey, that's great. You know, we didn't plan on selling or anything like that. So it didn't really, it wasn't like there's was real money there, um, but the value was up. Fast forward a year, the value is at least, I would say, what, 15 to 20% lower on Redfin or Zillow. Like I said, if we were selling, who knows what, what, you know, we could sell it at, but just for simple uh, purposes, that number dips significantly. So if you're looking at this as a stock, or if you're looking at this as like a, a commodity where it's like, hey, last year it was selling here, this year it's selling here, most people would advise that that's probably a good time to purchase. Um, you know, the, there's two sides of it. Like I said, if you're buying it as an investment, you can definitely look at it and say, okay, is this a time in the marketplace where I'm likely to see a greater appreciation in in the um, in the next you know coming year or so, or whatever your your uh, your investment time frame is, your time that you plan on selling. You know, because that's with an investment. I'm I'm not like some investment guru, but I know that every investment has an exit, right? Like there needs to be an exit strategy or some sort of plan on when you possibly will, um, you know, uh, what's the word? Um, turn that investment into, you know, uh, realize your investment, right? So, you know, if you're purchasing a home and you're really looking at it as an investment, maybe you're like, hey, look, what am I, if this is like a three year turnaround time, am I likely to see this property value go up? Obviously we're in a volatile market. Um, obviously there's a lot of things going on globally that will affect our economy that we just don't know. But if you're comparing it to recent prices and recent, you know, where, where, was, it, where was it at recently? Um, then yes, you would look at this time in most real estate markets and say, okay, properties are at a discounted price. So 
to, to give you that short answer, yes, I would say that right now, investment wise, you're, you'd see prices lower than you would a year or so ago. Now, does that mean that we, we've seen the bottom? Will things drop a little bit further if inflation still seems hard to get under control from the feds? Likely, if the feds have to keep rates up higher, then um, you know there's gonna be less buyers still in the market. That means that homes are gonna sit on the market a little bit longer. That means the buyers that are in the market are gonna have a little bit more um, pool and a little bit more ability to get properties at discounted rates. And you know when the sellers start to get more, I don't wanna say desperate, but more urgent to sell, those prices start to come down. Um, and depending on how high the dem dem demand is in a specific area, you know, that'll tell you how far that property price will come down. So, um, you know, if the property values drop further, then you'll look back and say, okay, well, maybe that wasn't a good time to buy. But it's really kind of hard to say that. You know, we're, we're in such a volatile economy that we could, next thing you know, be like in a spiking economy because the Fed see that they have the lower interest rates to um, to kind of like keep things from going into a full blown recession. The next thing you know, you know, the housing market is getting propped up again and, um, and, uh, and things are kind of flourishing again, credit's more available, the economy's kind of pumping again and you're seeing property values go up. And, um, and the same thing with stocks, you know? So it, it's one of those things that's, that's kind of hit or miss. Um, but my, my perspective is based on the comparison of the last few years and the reality that in areas that, you know, have a, uh, limited inventory, the inventory is still limited, you know, these properties are still selling even in this lower market, even though it's taken a little bit longer. Um, if you're looking at it from an investment standpoint, properties are at a discount right now. If you're looking at it from a, is it a good time to buy for me just as an individual, individual that wants to live in the home? That, that question will always be answered by yourself. You know, is this a uh, property that you could see yourself in long term? Are you comfortable with the payment? Um, you know, things like that, you know, because uh, if you're not really planning to move, then, you know, whether your property value goes up or down rapidly or not isn't as much of a factor. Obviously, we all want to see our value go up um, over time. But it's less of a factor if it's not something you plan on selling for years anyway. Um, and it really comes down to affordability and comfort. You know, if like you're happy with that area, um, if that's a place that you could see yourself in long term and the payment with that mortgage is comfortable, get yourself a fixed mortgage payment and, um, and lock that in and get in and make it home. So once again, thanks for tapping in. Like and subscribe if you have any questions. Do it, put it in the comments, or you can hit me at Kenneth at streamhomeloan.com. Here to answer any questions you, uh, you have to the best of my ability. All right, you guys, have a great day. Thanks for tapping in.